Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I want to specifically welcome the new subscribers. I've had about 30, 31 new subscribers, a little over 30 uh, in the past month. And that's something for me. I mean, this channel is just starting out and I can't wait to get over 100. I mean, it's, I see some channels that I watch that have millions of subscribers and here I am excited to try and breach 100 subscribers. Well, anyway, I guess that's how it all starts. I wanna give you a little background about myself. Um, I used to work in the TV news industry. I was a camera operator, took the camera out and shot news and brought it back to the TV station. Did that for 22 years before COVID hit and uh, sort of a paradigm shift where I chose to leave that industry and do things on my own. And I thought, hey, uh, we own three acres here and I have a Kubota tractor and I cut a lot of firewood and uh, we heat our house with firewood. I also supply my dad with firewood. So it's kind of interesting. It's the stuff that I like to watch on YouTube and I wanted to relate with the average guy. We don't own a hundred acres. We also don't have a Kubota tractor on a third of an acre, which is kind of ridiculous. I need a tractor, we have a tractor, and a lot of guys out there I think that, that own a tractor that have a, a small acreage property and um, do the same things that I do. So when I go through stuff like that, I, I wanna you know show you what I learn and that's what today's video is gonna be about. I um, ran into a situation, I have a gas can that I had for 25 years, I think, and I dropped a log on it and <laughs> I broke the nozzle. It's, uh, I taped it and I tried to epoxy it. Uh, I know I could probably go out and buy another nozzle for it and I might do that just to repurpose the can. But um, I, I also have a lot of gasoline powered equipment and I thought I wanna maybe do something a little bigger. So I looked online and uh, you've seen these before possibly on other channels, but this is my first unboxing video. So I decided to go with this. This is a 15 gallon John Dow Industries portable gas or fueling station. Um, I decided to go with this because, I mean, as far as price goes, this was $180. And if you're buying a new gas can, first of all, I don't even need to get started about the, the spouts on them. They're just frustrating as ever and I don't wanna go there. Um, I wanted something that was pretty simple. I know you can get one with a pump on it, uh, electric pump or a hand pump. Well, those are things that could go wrong. This is gravity fed. It's, as long as the hose doesn't get clogged, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feed. Um, and it was pretty affordable. It was $180 on Amazon. They delivered it. There's uh, nothing wrong with the box. I did see there's a little dent right here, but I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. So anyway, let's uh, open it up and see what we got inside. is in good shape so far okay so first off in here I see a vented gas cap nice let's get it lifted up out of here if we can oh boy is that light it says it only weighs 30 pounds so that's good yeah that dent in the box didn't do anything to the container so that's good and some instructions plastic and 10 foot hose with uh, pieces parts a very nice nozzle that's that's very nice metal made very well and then a ground wire ground wire i don't know if i'll use it or not all right, it's all unboxed, and this is really, really simple to put together. Uh, gas cap, and the rest of it just screws together the same way. They even provide you with some uh, tape. What do they call it? Nylon tape or, uh, you know, thread tape. Anyway, so, oh, and they give you a bag of bolts, which I'm actually going to use, I think. I'll either use these or I'll use something else because I'm going to mount this to a pallet so I can use the tractor to load it in and out of the truck when I go to fill it. The tank weighs 30 pounds and a gallon of gas weighs six pounds. So 15 times six is 90 plus the 30 pounds, 120 pounds total when this is completely full. I could lift it, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna mount it to a pallet. Now, if I really like this thing, I'm gonna buy a second one 
mount it on the pallet behind it and use it for diesel. So let's get it put together like that. You don't need to see me doing it all. It all really simply just, you wrap the tape around the ends, you screw the parts together and Robert's your mother's brother, you're done. All right, I am gonna go into a little bit of uh, tips on what you can do when you start doing this. Now, I would connect the hose to the tank first because once you connect it and you have to screw it around and around and around and around, you don't want this big handle on the other end flopping around as you try and tighten that together. So I'm gonna wrap my Teflon tape, I think it is. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap the tape around here. Now, another tip, when you wrap tape, you guys should know this, you should wrap it in the direction that you're going to thread it. So if I'm gonna turn it clockwise into the thread, I want this to be going in the same direction so that when I'm turning it, I'm not peeling the tape off the thread. So I'll just put a couple wraps around there. So now I'm simply going through the process of screwing the parts together, which like I said, was very simple. Um, twisting the hose as I go. And then I tightened it up with a set of adjustable knuckle busters. And that there is the valve and it's all screwed in, looks good. All right, now I'm gonna put the nozzle on and you can't really screw this up. One end is longer, I'm sorry, one end is larger than the other. Uh, so now I attach it to the pallet. I'm just marking the holes and uh, I'll move the tank, drill the holes. And uh, I picked a pallet that was a little bit smaller than a typical pallet because I want to fit a 30 inch uh, tank on and most, most pallets are 40 inches wide. So this pallet was just about right. So just simply drill out the holes to fit the bolts, place the tank over the holes. And uh, I put two bolts through first. I had to read that hole out a little bit, but put two bolts through first and finger tightened two of them. And then take the whole thing and flip it over, insert the other two bolts and tighten them down. Just like that, very simply. Now, time to put it in the uh, truck. four gallons in here from that other can that was broken. I think I'm going to put another 10 in, I think. That's eight. Yep, uh, a little more squirt. I think that's going to do it. The rest is going in the truck.
full. So I think for now, this is a good spot for it. I just set it on top of these wood crates. Um, gets it up off the ground high enough that I can use it. Enough gravity to feed. Uh, one little tiny issue is uh, this hose here was like crimped or pinched a little bit. And uh, when I took the nozzle down to feed the wood splitter, it, uh, it just bent and it, of course, wouldn't let fuel pass through it. So I may need to put something around that, maybe a hose clamp or something just to make sure that doesn't uh, pinch or create a, uh, a kink. Anyway, other than that, it worked great. It's holding the fuel and it comes out when you pull the nozzle. That's all you can ask for. Uh, I think I like it enough, I'm gonna need another one. Get one for diesel. But uh, anyway, the John Dow Industries portable fuel station, 15 gallons. It's a, it's a nice solution for um, rather than a five gallon gas can or three five gallon gas cans. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like what you see and you like the stuff you see on my channel, please hit the subscribe button, trying to get over a hundred. And uh, thanks to all you guys out there that have already subscribed and I'm looking forward to uh, growing this channel. So anyway, catch you next time.